Alright, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel, depending on who's watching this. When I first started in this game, I had no clue what obelisks were and I didn't know where they were, what they did. And if you're the same as me, obelisks are these little points of interest that allow you to teleport to them if you have this thing called a map room. I'll probably make a separate video on that. Don't feel like explaining that. And basically you need these things in order to teleport around the map or fast travel around the map. And it's the game doesn't really tell you exactly where they are you can look them up or you can watch a video like this one and i'm going to show you where all of them are and how to get to them and while i'm doing this i'm gonna make sure i go in order from easiest to most difficult to get to okay the one we're starting off with is the one down at the dregs is at the south of the map it's located in this direction i mean in this area and if you see anything extra on the map we're playing on a pvp server so if i walk up to this camp and everybody's invisible is only because we're in a pvp server and the servers are kind of messed up right now and don't worry i'm not going to get killed because everybody knows better so the first one is located over here down south i showed you it's in the dregs this is probably the easiest one i could think of you have to go through this camp and then when you get here you can either go left or right i prefer left sorry on the darkness this game gets super dark and i would turn up my gamma but it's not really going to help once you climb up here this is the obelisk and if you're wondering what that stuff is around there don't be afraid to go inside of it it's not going to be that fatal to you just walk up to it press square on it or whatever your interact button is depending on whatever system you're on The location of the next obelisk is here at the sinkhole in the middle of the canyon area. It's like the middle of the map. I feel like this one is the second easiest because there's nothing, there's threats around it, but you would literally have to catch their aggro in order to get attacked coming to this one. You just have to be careful when attuning this obelisk and when teleporting to this obelisk because there's chances are you'll spawn right here facing this way and you will fall in. Not only is this obelisk here, but you can also unlock squirming animation <laughs> or emote. It's not my cup of tea, I'll tell you that. And this is how it looks. I'll make a separate video on all the emotes as well. The location of the next obelisk is right here. There's no real place I can tell you to go to because there's no landmark around here. If you look at the map closely, I'll zoom all the way in. It's right here. That's right below the Shattered Springs. It's all the way to the west side of the map. Um, There's no dangers around this either. That whole area is noxious gas, as I said. And right there is like, almost like a worshiping place for skeletons. I don't even want to get into that, but this is probably the the third easiest one to get to. Um, all the other ones aren't really hard to get to. It's just threats around it. And there's no emote or nothing to learn around here. So you can just go up to that one and learn it. Okay, so this one is located right over here in the jungle area. This one does have a landmark near it. It's called the, the Dagon's Eye, I guess. And as you can see, I'm already fighting, so there are threats around this one. It's just the Black Panthers, though, that's all. Um, this one is fairly easy to get to as well. You just have to climb up. I guess you could go to this side of the beach over here, as you can see where I'm facing. You go down there and climb. You may need a little bit of extra stuff like grit and climbing boots or anything like that. Um, But this one is also fairly easy to get to no no hard threats or anything like that no emotes either so there's nothing to learn over here this one should be fairly easy to get to 
here's another angle of where you have to go to get it um, if I'm looking directly at it it's right on top of this hill right here this is me looking down at from the beach so you, you may have to just you know work your way around here to get up there but it's fairly easy to get to and the next obelisk that we're going to is literally right around the corner it's a little ways away so I am going to cut there but you know if you're coming out to get obelisk it's best to get both of these while you're down here okay the next location is pretty hard I I was going to you know show them an order from difficulty but this one is pretty hard it's not like super hard if you got the right equipment like maybe a good weapon or something that'll keep you with a lot of stamina coming over here I realized that this shit is not easy <laughs> it's located right here at the upper staging arena I'm not sure if it's just my server or just my internet or maybe it's just the game but sometimes when you come over here every every enemy creature may not appear right away they may be invisible they may take their time to load in I don't know if it's just the you know the time that I'm playing this or whatever but at the time when I every time I come over here I get attacked by invisible stuff and then eventually I see him now getting here you may run into a couple of those reptilian rhino things but when you get here there'll be a bunch of spiders and what I think is called sand reapers uh, those things that poison you and there is a bigger one here that takes a long time to kill which means it's probably a boss maybe an apex boss or whatever but it's guarding it right now but I can show you exactly where it is um, that's the reaper right there the thing that attacked me that those things poison you so they are pretty dangerous and their poison is fatal but the obelisk is literally right up these steps it's kind of hard to show y'all because I did not bring any you know OP armor or OP weapons with me I just bought stuff to make me live but um, it's right there. You probably can't see. He's walking away from the obelisk now. I probably can show you. The spiders aren't really dangerous, but they stop you from climbing if you need to get away from combat because they shoot you with crippling poison from a distance. But here's the obelisk right here. It's glowing green. Just attune it. And yeah, and if you need me to, I'll show you again where it is. Right here, left of the upper staging arena. Literally one of these step staircases. You should not miss it. Now I'm gonna get out of here before I die and I'm gonna meet you at the other one. And by the way, the obelisk that I just shown you, I'm on my way to the next location now, but the obelisk that I just showed you, I wouldn't even really call that this, the, the jungle. This right here is all technically the swamp. And this is the jungle down here. So, to clarify, that opus that I just showed you was located in the swamp area. And you know this because, just look around me. Okay, the next location is located right here at the Mounds of the Dead. Now, at the Mounds of the Dead, you have these, like, four kind of island things in the water. More located towards the left side of the map. This is where the obelisk is. You may have to climb up, you may have to do some jumping. But to be fair, it's pretty easy to get to. Now, there's no threats literally at the obelisk, but getting here may be a problem because they have these little skeleton things and they ha also have, you know, exiles around here that hit pretty hard. Now, these skeletons are no joke if you do not have the required armor. If you're a high level, then you probably see these things. It's not that really hard. But if you're more of a lower level or in the middle, these days can give you a pain. I'm a high level, and if you get enough of them around you, it's a po it's a possibility you may die. I died five times in a row trying to kill these things, just trying to get my stuff back. And I had super OP armor at the time. But I'll zoom all the way in so you can see once again where it is exactly. It's right here on this little one. These little brown things are the huts that you know all the NPCs be at. They got the skeletons and they have the humans here or humanoids they're located at all those places so if you avoid these places there's still like a couple of those little glowing skeletons all around here but if you if you're if you're pretty fast and you avoid a fight you should be able to get here safely the rest of the locations are at pretty harsh places so I will go ahead and make my way home get rid of this corruption and change it to some armor that'll help me show you guys better so if you have paid attention to all the obelisks now, uh, you may require certain things to get to these next few obelisks because chances are if you're just a random low level or if you're just now getting into the, you know, to a server or something, 
there's a possibility you will not make it to these just all willy-nilly unless you're planning on losing your shit but then again there's still if one of the threats is weather you won't make it i promise you so i'm gonna head home change it to some good armor get rid of this corruption and show you the rest of the locations <laughs> Okay, the next location is across this bridge. I think it's called the, what is it called? The Bridge of the Betrayer. Now this bridge may be a little difficult, but if you are a random low level, you know, just a person that's just, you know, spawning in and you're trying to make this quick, this is not for you. Make sure you're prepared to go across this bridge because this bridge is not technically hard. It's just the weather goes like completely, completely fail fatal when trying to cross this when we first discovered this bridge we being me and my clan we could not make it across this without dying because of the weather so make sure you're prepared to go across this the bridge is located right here in the north around the snow area it kind of connects you from this biome to into the snow once you cross it you will see the obelisk immediately as you're about to see now there are other threats besides you know the weather they have these skeletons. These skeletons are lootable if you do kill them. All the other ones aren't, but these ones are. They're pretty difficult too, but if you're of the right level, you have the right armor and have the right weapons, these would be a piece of cake. And the obelisk is located, like I said, right across the bridge. You can just attune it and go all the way back. If you want to know how to survive certain weather conditions on this game, I'll make a separate video on that too. This is the next location of the next obelisk. It's literally right here in the snow up north. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to have the right, you know, required things in order to survive here. The NPCs get in here will mostly be probably a couple of humanoids, maybe some mammoths, saber tooths, and these big giant ogre things. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. And this one is fairly simple you just you know there's nothing special around it there's a couple of places where you can get some black ice up here now the next location is located in not the hardest but one of the hardest locations in the map which is this you know red area people probably told you to stay away from here this is one of the most dangerous places in the map but it's not the hardest place in the map the last two are you could get i guess you could try to rank them higher than each other on the difficulty in all honesty those two places are equal in my book when it comes to difficulty and this is one of them the obelisk is located literally right here i think on the map as you can see i'm here it's called the unnamed city once you come to here it's pretty self-explanatory you just get here by just looking at your map there's a lot of witch ways and there's a lot of difficulties here you have different skeletons dragons snakes it's a bunch of different type of mobs here but if you're prepared you should be able to get here you don't necessarily need what i have on right now you don't necessarily need the weapon that i have i just want to make sure i can get in and out without any problems as you can see you can just come here just to tune the obelisk and yeah pretty much just get out of here however way now i'm going to fight my way out of here and i'll show you the last location of the last obelisk In order to get up to the next obelisk, you will have to go up this path in the snow. And that path begins right here. Now once you find this path, it's easy, you just follow the path up and eventually you'll be at the obelisk. Last but not least, the final location of the final obelisk on this map is located right here. Now if you don't know what this area is, this is the volcano. And in order to get up here, you have to go through the snow, So, which means you have to know how to get through the snow without dying when it comes to the dangers and the weather. Then you also have to get here. And the weather up here is a little bit worse than the snow. The snow just brings your health down up here. It probably dries out your stamina. It dries out your, your thirst. And it you know, takes down your health once you get to the highest point of 
heat which is heat stroke now right now i'm wearing the best armor you can have on the volcano when it comes to enduring the weather and hits from npcs now coming up here you'll probably see a couple of rock nose kings rock nose um a couple of regular npc humanoids no real dangers when it comes to the npcs coming up here maybe a couple of snakes but you should be fine when it comes to npcs up here it's mostly just the weather and lava is instant kill so don't touch lava at all getting up here is little it's a little little pathways around you'll see like the you'll see the the mountain area when you approach it and it should be fairly simple you just follow the pathway up and once you do come to a tunis obelis uh there's a chest right here too just in case you know you want to see what you can grab let's see what's in here. if you go straight after attuning this obelisk it should lead you to a cave that leads you straight to the snow and then once you get to the snow you know it is where it is from there you know just find your way home or wherever it is that you plan on going next The bad thing about teleporting in this game is the loading screen sometimes you can be attacked in the middle of loading screens but luckily there's no creatures outside of this cave only when you go back in will you have to deal with anything There you go that's all the obelisk locations if you stay tuned i will show a video on how fast travel to each of these obelisk locations because that's the only real useful thing about the obelisk there's really nothing else to do with the obelisk except for probably like get a journey step for a tuning one for your first time but other than that you're gonna know you're gonna need to know how to get to each of these obelisks by fast traveling and i will make a separate video on that if you're watching this it'll probably be up if not then I guess stay tuned and when I do upload it I will put it in the description of this video and vice versa if you enjoy let me know in any way shape or form that you feel like you can and I will catch you next time I catch you